I had someone asking me in the comment section to see what the Moto Club Depot looked like. So I figured we'll open this video with checking out the Moto Club Depot. There's not a lot to see. To be honest with you, there really isn't much to see in there. But if you were curious what it looked like in there, if you don't have the game, this this is this is what it looks like. You have vehicles, events, and parts. In vehicles, you can buy skins. It's just, it's like the actual correct manufacturer skins basically they don't have the 252 strokes in there but they have the the 125s here's cowie the ktms the yamahas the hondas and the only one i've bought is this one just one it's three bucks it's three real dollars uh to buy a skin and i just don't think it's worth for me buying more than just one i wanted to have that one so I bought it. I, I don't see myself buying anymore. But one thing I wanted to look at because I had, yes, yes, they do, was I wanted to see supposedly the Suzuki wasn't was never in here before. This is something they just added with this last DLC track that they dropped. So this is new. The 125 and the 250, 450 and the LT 450. So that's kind of cool. I know a lot of people were excited to get these skins. So if you wanted them, there they are. Now, let's just go back here and check the events. This is where they, the, well, all the track packs are. So there really isn't much in here either. There's five, five so far. And this is the new one, the Stewart Compound, which we will get into in just a second. And parts, there, there's nothing in here. It'd be kind of cool if you could buy stuff out of here, but yet, it wouldn't be cool, I guess. I don't really know. Um, I know some people want them to add more things into the, the parts section of the Moto Depot, but I don't know. Who knows if they will. This is all that they've got. Like, this is it. So that's what the Moto Depot looks like. That's it. And there you go. If you wanted to see, there you go. And next we will jump into what you really wanted to see was the james stewart compound dlc we'll probably do just so the video doesn't get too long we'll probably do the super cross tracks the two super cross tracks and then the outdoor track which the outdoor track it's kind of weird it's basically one track but you can split it off into two sections and so that's that that that'll be a separate video so this video we'll do the two super cross tracks We'll do the night and day cycle, which is really cool. You can choose to do night and day, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you over in the Supercross tracks in just a second. Okay, so here we have the James Stewart compound, and these are going to be the two Supercross tracks. This is the first one, and the second one's actually right behind me. Now, I got a little confused. I actually got lost and couldn't find, find one of them. Well, I actually couldn't find this one. Uh, it's kind of like hidden, wrapped around, or wrapped inside of the, the motocross track. So we'll do this one first, and then we'll do the other one, and then we'll do the night version of both of them as well. So we'll do a couple laps, maybe just two laps, maybe three. We'll see how things go, and we'll go from there. But I have minimal, 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 minimal experience on all the tracks, indoor or indoor. Well, it's all outside minimal experience on all the supercross and motocross tracks so i'll try my best and we'll try and hit some decent lines here this track i've actually only one run one lap on i believe so let's see what we can do i threw that okay nice section of whoops here Ooh, we got a bad run through them we got a little hiccup in there Oh, I got that last time. Dang it, I really wanted that again. Get over this. Count that as like a half a lap, I suppose. Need a little preload to get over the triple. Kind of took a funny timing through all that. Nice little double. Come back around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, jeez. And just kind of do whatever there. And then we come back into the starting line. So it's actually a pretty short track. Feels short. I don't know if it is, but... Feels pretty short. Now, I'm getting, I'm, I'm over-jumping that just a little bit. So my timing coming off of that's funny. 
Oh my goodness, I can't believe he didn't wreck. Did you see how high our front tire was? There we go. There we go. That was a nice timing. Over the finish line. Almost cut the track just a little bit there. Triple. Let off a little bit. Still needed the preload because I don't think we would have got that otherwise. And the double. Uh, let's see. I still just don't have it memorized yet. Oh, what? Oh, that was going to be such a nice run, too, but we got a little landed back tire was a, or front tire was a little bit high and got kind of a funny hiccup. There, we, a little bit different that time. Let's see if we can get a good run through the whoops here. I don't know why we're... Yeah, there's, there's one in there that's making things funny for us. No, we're not going to get it, but we can double out now, so... I think that's... You know what, we'll do one more. We'll do one more just because that last one wasn't very pretty. Oh, I just... Just for the heck of it, because I wasn't sure... I felt like there was a way you could jump over that, then you would have had a weird double. I know that's not how you're supposed to do it. I know, I know, I know, but... I thought it'd be funny if you could. I don't know if funny. I thought it'd be fun if you could, but you can't. Well, I don't. Maybe you can. I didn't try very hard. Not bad. Not bad. I don't like that single, though, out. I don't know why. I'm just not feeling that. Up back here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, I want a good run through these whoops. Yeah, there's one in there that's making things funny for us. Oh, I would have got it, but I didn't get a full preload. There, I got a full preload. That's what I'm talking about. All right, that's three laps. What we'll do is we will check this bad boy out at nighttime and see if that's any better, so... We'll see you when it's dark outside. Okay, so here we are. We're back with the same Supercross track. And as you can tell, there's no lights on this one. Now, if you look behind, you can see lights. There are lights on the other Supercross track, but there's none on this one, which is kind of disappointing. Maybe it's like that in real life. I guess I personally, I don't know. I, I really don't know. It probably is like that in real life, so they, I don't know, but... So what? It's a video game. I kind of wish they would have stuck lights on this one so you could have done it. Now, it doesn't really make any difference. We'll just go riding. It doesn't really make any difference, but I still wish they would have. But we get through that nicely. It just doesn't, it doesn't really affect the riding. You know, you can still see perfectly fine, and it's fine. Now, there is one corner here. Right here, this corner gets a little bit dark, but uh, other than that, it really doesn't matter. It's It doesn't affect anything. Triple, didn't have to preload that time, awesome. Nice little double, nice little double, actually a pretty big double into the corner. So, you can, we can, I mean, we're running pretty smooth laps still. We're running just about as smooth as we did the first time. Oh, come on. Oh, didn't think I needed a preload over that. Took a little bit different line. That's one lap, basically. Oh, we'll do two more. I really want to jump that whole thing, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Coming to these wicked, sandy whoops that are even unevenly spaced. Just coming up short, it's like it just sucked all my momentum away from me. And then the finish line double! And here we go for the last lap. Definitely gonna have to preload our way out of that. But it's so easy, those triples are actually pretty small compared to the ones that are normally... What they, they actually seem to be moving to bigger triples and then now they tone it back down for this. 
Um, again, we kind of took a different timing from what we had been taking through that, but eh, it's all right. And let's see, what are we gonna do here? And then single in the corner. I really don't like that single in the corner, but that's what we got right now. Like I said, minimal, minimal time on the tracks. That was a terrible line. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I kind of dropped the front end into that last one. It was a little bit ugly, but there you go. That's three laps. Again, uh, it's okay. You can see perfectly fine. It doesn't really affect the riding or anything, but it's, you know, I don't know why. I just kept thinking they were going to have lights on this when they kept saying you can ride at night. I figured there'd be lights on at least both the Supercross tracks, but there's not. So what we'll do, he's freaking out, so let's just hop down here so he's not glitching out. Um, what we'll do is we will come back with the other Supercross track and see what that looks like. So I will see you in just a second. Track number two is this one. This is very red type of dirt, so a little bit different. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Like I said, minimal, minimal, minimal experience on, on all the tracks. So we'll try and get a halfway decent line. But I actually, from what I've rode, you'll you can see what you think of it after you see the track. But I think the other, the first one was probably my favorite. This is gonna be my least favorite out of the, out of the two Supercross tracks, at least. So we'll jump into this and see. Maybe it's because I I'm having trouble getting a halfway decent run through anything on this one. Kind of cut the track a little bit, but it's still it was still okay. Step on, step off. I like this section. Actually, those first two sections aren't too bad, but maybe that's because I can hit those. Nice set of whoops. These whoops are a little bit easier than the last ones were. These last ones gave me such a weird little hiccup. Oh, I want to be on the inside. I want to be on the inside. Yes, yes. Nice little timing through that. Definitely like the inside line better than the outside line. I don't even think I'm going to take... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Well, I guess we're doing this. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, you know, that wasn't a great line, but it'll do for now. I'm still learning. Get a little more time on it, and whoa, might not be so bad. That line's, pr I think that outside line's probably faster, but I like that line, it's fun. It's sometimes just because it's fun. Nice little triple. Pretty small triple, actually, because you can get over it pretty easily without a preload, even if you mess up the section before, so. Jump to the inside. Oh, too much. Too much. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Let's go to the outside if we can. You can jump that whole thing. I don't know if I'll get it, but you can. And then you can jump onto that and then nicely hop on, hop on, hop on, hop off. But of course we didn't. We didn't get that. But you can. You can do that. You can definitely do that. Looks like we'll take the same line again on that. And maybe during the night, we'll try and take the outside line just so you can see the difference. There is line choice, and I think it, it does make a difference. It's not just there. It does make a difference. Take that. That was kind of ugly, but... Dang it, I'm over-jumping that first one so bad I'm not able to, to do what I want to do off of this. Well, you know, those were decent you know, kind of lap, so you can kind of see, but we'll check it out at nighttime, see if it looks any better. I haven't done any of it at night. I haven't done any of this at nighttime yet, so we'll check it out and see if it's any better or not. So as you can tell, this is the Supercross track that gets the attention, gets the lights and everything on it. Uh, I don't know if in real life this is, maybe this is how it is in real life, so realistically this is the track that has lights around it. I have no idea. I haven't paid attention. I have no idea. I haven't even seen. So I don't know. If it is, and you know, let me know in the comments. 
Uh, but even being so, it's still a game, so it'd be really cool. I kind of wish they put lights on the other Supercross track, especially since I think that's the one that I favor the most, is that one over this one. Uh, this is still a good one, but I think I like the other one better. But let's go check it out and see what the lights, if being night and having lights makes a difference or not, because it didn't change too much on the other one. Off the gate, come up a little short, but we still get over it. Step on, step off to triple, and then we'll come into these these whoops. These are a little bit easier than the other ones. Plus, we got a really good run through them. Stick to the inside. I let off. I'm letting off because I'm over jumping stuff so badly on this that I'm letting off too much, I think. Uh, kind of a weird timing through that last one. Just double, double. I don't know. I really want that step on, step on, step off table, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm not getting the run I need through that corner. The track. I was so focused on trying to stay on the track, I just butchered that whole section. See, that's what happens when I try different things. It does it. It comes out really ugly. It comes out really ugly. Oh, I mean, the only thing I do know is that I am not taking a different line in this section. It's so bad if I do. Step on, step off. Actually, you know what? We'll do one more. We'll do one more lap, and then I'm going to try and uh, jump over that whole thing on that back section. We are so lucky we didn't go down there. Never got a really good run through that. I'm sorry. Just isn't going to happen. It's not there. It's not there for me. Never got a really good run. And it's not that difficult. Short. Step on, step off to triple. Throw a whip. See, not, not pretty whips. Not pretty. Again, I don't have an upgraded chassis. So that's just how I like to ride my bike, so... Uh, I can't throw very good whips. Well, we got over that. I think you could actually... I think that could have made for a pretty decent timing through this section, but we clipped a little bit. So it kind of made for an ugly section. Throw a whip. And I believe that's three laps. So that is the James Stewart compound night and day on both tracks so you can see that you can ride even at night on the other on the on the other supercross track as well as the motocross track it's just um yeah i don't know it just doesn't really have the lighting so that's kind of that's kind of it uh, i'll do a little drive around here so you can see this a uh, little little like over actually it's not that little a big overhang he's got I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Big 450 can't hop this little little ledge here. Some trailer, some bobcat, payloader, bulldozer, track building equipment, a uh, bunch of boxes. What else we got? Yeah, you know, and here's just typical stuff you'd see in between a building, I suppose. Another trailer, his water truck house so you know it's kind of cool you this is gated over here you can't actually go over there but eh, you know it's still kind of cool i you know here if you want to see the house a little bit better yeah i don't know i don't mind it i just the only thing i really wish is that there was lights on the other super cross track but i guess that's kind of com that's complaining about nothing is what that really is so overall i'd say that was really good and that's gonna do it for this video and in the next one, I will do the motocross, the motocross track. Yeah, because it really is only one. It's one pro loop, but then they split it to two parts. So you have like the north and the south. I don't even think I'm going to do that. I, I think we'll just do the pro loop because I don't know why. I, I would never ride it just the north and the south. I would always ride the whole thing. Now, it's probably going to be a pretty long track, so 
we'll check that out in the next video but thanks for all the support thanks for everything you guys and girls do it really means a lot if you um if you want to see the motocross part if you want to see more supercross smash that like button and uh leave me a comment what you think of this if you have this let me know if you like it a lot like it a little it's different it's so different from the last four dlcs we've gotten it's just a different layout it's the compound so it's cool i like the change i like it um we'll just have to see what we think of the motocross track before we can fully decide but thanks for all the support thanks for everything again that you guys and girls do you're too freaking awesome so until that next video Take it easy.